Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today is the day that my Note 22 finally is here. So, I am an avid Note user. I've had every single one since the Note 2 or 3, maybe 3. And I was very disappointed when this past fall they, you know, nixed or canceled whatever the Note line. So, very happy that they brought it back, you know. I be it under a different name, but I don't care what you call it. S22, no 22, it's it's a it's a note. So just the purpose of this video is uh just gonna do a couple of comparison shots against the current note 20. Give you guys an idea of what size dimensions there are. As far as unboxing, there really isn't much to go on these anymore. You know, they've slimmed it down, there's no more power charging, it's just the phone and some paperwork. But Let's take a look at the dimensions versus the old predecessor. So I got the burgundy. So I was torn between the burgundy or the green. And I was kind of back and forth trying to decide which I want and then the green sold out. So, well, made my choice easier. So I got the burgundy and I have the mystic bronze outgoing. So to be honest, you know, kind of close in a way how they look. But if you look at dimensions, let's see what we got here. Pretty close. This one, the the 22, does feel heavier, and we're gonna test that in a second. So actually, you know what? I've got my calipers here, and we're gonna do some size dimensions to see kind of how these fare up. So no 20 in the left, no 22 on the right. So let's zero it out and let's see what we got here. So as far as width, we got 77.2. And on this one we got 78. So the Note 22 is just a hair, just a hair wider. So let's see if every time you get it, it looks like slightly different, but close enough. I mean, it's a hair wider. If we go for the length, oh boy, it's too big for my calipers so that's not gonna work so we'll have to do it a different way I have to put them face to face and kind of go by go by just eyesight here so I got them square and you can see that the note 20 is slightly taller so basically looks like what they what they've done with the new one is thickened it out a little bit and shortened it so all in all probably the same Total size, but let's see width. Actually, face it so you guys can see. How about that? So we're looking at 8.68 or so on the old one. New one, we're looking at nine. Yeah, it's, it is noticeably thicker. I think that's where the weight's coming from. And now let's check the actual weight. See if my hand scale is correct. So we've got this, let's change this to grams. All right, so here goes, what do we got? 230 grams and 210 grams. So 20 gram difference. So my uh, my hand scale did was correct. So it does definitely feel chunkier like you can feel the width which is a little I guess disappointing because I obviously never want the phone to get thicker because uh, it just doesn't feel good in the hand that's actually one of the reasons I returned my pixel uh, 6 was it just felt too chunky in the hand it was you know it felt like this phone with a case on is how the naked uh, pixel 6 felt and this one obviously not as thick but it is I mean you can tell that it's you know that it's thicker so kind of unfortunate, but you know, I don't think it's a deal breaker. Let me kind of feel it again. Yeah, it's you can definitely feel the the thickness and the weight of the new one. But obviously, that's really all I kind of have to kind of show right now because I just got the phone, so I'm not going to really give any reviews yet, other than just kind of want to do a quick unboxing and comparison versus its predecessor. And. And yeah, so let's look at the cameras here. So you can... All 
right, let's measure and compare the camera bumps here. So let's put them right here and let's take a look to see how big the camera bump is. So on the outgoing note, we're looking at 2.7 mm, uh, millimeters and this one, let's pull this back out. This one we have 1.6. So we get about a 1.6, about a one millimeter difference in camera bumps. Let's if there's a way to kind of show that. I don't know. I mean, one millimeter is tiny. So, but yeah, that is a wrap up on this quick kind of unboxing and comparison. Uh, as far as the hardware goes, you know, I'll, you know, I obviously have to use the phone to see if I like it. I'm sure I will, you know, full disclosure, I am a, you know, Samsung Note fanboy, so of course I'll like it. But I will give this some use, and then, you know, once a week or so into it, I'll definitely come back and try to see what else is different on the software side, and you know, if it's worth upgrading, I mean, to me, it's always worth upgrading because I just like trying new phones, but maybe to, to some it's not. You know, the screen is also not as curved. Yeah, the screen curve does not come down as far, it looks like, on, if you can tell, you know, on the old one, it kind of goes down almost halfway down the case, where this one... Hard to tell that it stops kind of right there. So, but yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll try and answer them. But I'm going to go ahead and get this phone set up and uh, I'll give you guys a kind of an, an impression maybe next week or something. Thanks for, thanks. Bye.